Space Section 5, public comment. Okay, first speaker is um, Rit uh, Sanhu. I had two points today, but I'm going to do three because that was an awesome representation of how p members of our community have opened businesses using resources found here in Elk Grove and then putting it back into our community. And so with that, I'm just going to go put it out there. I oppose the hospital that's being built on the property that they are currently brewing those hops and raising the money for the Canine Association. I just want to um, give you guys a reference because I've heard many times here at the meeting um, and around in the public and in the media that Elk Grove needs a hospital. And I agree, we do need a hospital. But we need a hospital that's planned appropriately and that's going to serve our community. Now, not that I want this to happen, but for example, if any one of you today needed emergency services, you would be directed by the ambulance to go to Kaiser South Sac or Methodist. Kaiser South Sac's 4.8 miles from here. Methodist is 4.4. In the event that Dignity built their hospital and relocated Methodist to the uh, Elk Grove Boulevard and Bighorn site, we're now one mile away from the hospital. If you chose to go to CNU and if you were in an emergency situation, you would be not choosing where you're going. The EMS would do that. That's 5.8 miles. I want to point out that City Hall is pretty close to being the center of Elk Grove. If you look at a map and look at it, majority of our population here in Elk Grove resides east and south, not so much to the west. And so when looking at a site for a hospital that's going to serve Elk Grove, I don't oppose a hospital. I just oppose a hospital in the wrong place. I recommend that we look at a place that can really serve our community. The I-5 corridor does not have a hospital currently. There's not much on the I-5 corridor. On the 99 corridor is where most of the population lives. Wilton, Lodi, um, Galt. You look out at Slough House. All those people also need hospitals. And right now they're traveling to South Sac. Some of them, it's easier for them to get to Folsom. So if we really want to do service to our community, let's look at a good place to put a hospital, a hospital that's really going to serve our community. The second point that I have, and I better be quick, is that um, I'd really like you to use your guys' influence as a city council and leaders that we've elected to represent our community to request that businesses that are coming into Elk Grove act with transparency, give factual information, and act with integrity. We've seen many situations where that hasn't occurred. Um, one example is the last city council meeting where um, an employee of CNU came in as a concerned resident and is actually the assistant medical director of medical education at the university. And Mr. Soon, you offered to give her information to contact her with CNU and she didn't choose to correct you and let you know. That's not transparency. I'm here as a healthcare provider. I've told you guys that several times now. But I'm just asking for transparency, honesty, and integrity in any business that wants to come to Elk Grove. We need to demand that. And we need to demand that of ourselves and as of our leaders. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, members of the council. I'm Jan Smutney Jones. I'm a 17 year resident of. Uh, Elk Grove, uh, Stone Lake community specifically, and I hate to say it, this is the first time I've ever uh, spoken before the, uh, this uh, board, uh, but uh, I felt the need to do that today, and we I follow a, a bunch of really remarkable people that have contributed to this community, and that's why my wife and I live here and raised our children uh, in the Stone Lake community, which is a family-oriented, uh, quiet neighborhood, uh, very diverse, uh, and a great place next to a wildlife center. Um, it is uh, not an appropriate place, however, to place a trauma two hospital in the middle of, the, of our neighborhood. Um, I want to just start out by saying that we have not been contacted by the developer at all. The, the city has not been there to tell us what's going on. The only, the only people who, we've had one meeting with our homeowners association and that's it. So the outreach, the transparency has re really lost it with the neighborhood. We're really very angry about this. Um, my understanding of what our, what our community is about, our general plan is about, is that we basically stress quiet neighborhoods uh, and basically not disrupting existing businesses. Um, that's not what this proposal is. Uh, it is basically destroying businesses that are thriving, serving our community. You just heard from one of them. 
uh, and basically uh, this is a significant problem. Give you some idea, this building is taller than the state capitol by 40 feet. That's what it's going to be. It's 255 feet or something like that. The state capitol is 201 feet. It's a huge building. We're going to have a canyon of four-story parking structures down West Terran, and we're going to have five-story dormitories looking into people's backyard. This is in a quiet neighborhood. This is not totally inappropriate for the quiet enjoyment of our community. We are not against hospitals. I think you just heard a colleague of mine say that. There are more appropriate places uh, to put a hospital. Just to put this in perspective, we're, we're in the very far end of, uh, of West Elk Grove. You can't go any farther and find a population. There's only ducks further to the west. You've got to go five, six miles north to get to South Sac. You have to go 15 or 20 miles to get to West Lodi. Uh, and east, you've already heard it, most of our people live east and south. An inappropriate place for a hospital. So the bottom line is we would ask you not to rezone the Stone Lake Landing for this hospital. There's uh, plenty of open land that we can put uh, a hospital if we, if we need one, but not in our quiet neighborhood. I would encourage you to come out west and join us for beer, sushi, good Indian food. We've got it all out there, but we really don't want to see you for ribbon cutting. So thank you very much, and, and uh, I'm, I'm, hopefully this will be this drama will be short-lived. But we really, really will oppose this every step of the way. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, sir. Mr. Spidey Jones. Mr. Spidey Jones. Um, you have a lot of information already, but if you are inclined, I, I am hosting an information session uh, on February 22nd, and maybe, Kara, can you give it? Give, oh, okay. So if, if you wanted to ask, you mentioned earlier about not being, you know, the, the, the medical school had not reached out to you. There, there will be an opportunity for that very purpose, so people can ask questions to the city, to the hospital, separate things. I, I can't tell you how important that is. The lack of transparency on this has really turned this community, you know, against this project and the hostility is, and I'm not trying to direct it at the city now, but nobody knows what's, what in the world's going on and this is a huge disruption for the quiet enjoyment of our property. So I do appreciate that, Council Member, and um, I don't know who I need to give information to, but we'll be happy to spread the word. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Kathy uh, Engel, uh, following Kathy, is uh, Mark Ryan. Hi, Kathy. Mayor Lee and council members. Um, I wrote down what I wanted to say uh, because I wanted to make sure that I stayed on track. Um, so the city council has repeatedly stated that they don't get involved in private business. And, um, and I thought that was the case. They said that they can't stop somebody from doing something on their own property. There were some zoning things, but other than that, they can't get involved. But in the last few weeks, I found that to be grossly inaccurate in the case of the California North State University proposed hospital. The Elk Grove Department of Economic Development has actively pursued California North State University and according to the City Council goals and imperatives document dated December 30th, 2018, staff, I quote, staff continues to support California North State University to assist them with campus planning and expansion activities, end quote. This doesn't seem to align with what we've been told by our city officials. This leads us to believe that either we are being misled or that the city council is not aware of what the staff is doing. How can the city consider this hospital and continually use the phrase, it's good for the entire city, when you don't know what type of health insurance this proposed hospital will accept? According to the recent article in the Sacramento Business Journal, I think it was last Friday, um, and this is a quote, the Sacramento region's healthcare market is competitive. The area's three largest private sector employers are Kaiser, Sutter Health, and Dignity Health. Sutter, with 24 hospitals and 5,500 affiliated physicians throughout Northern California, is headquartered in Sacramento. California North State will have to differentiate itself in the market to survive. It will have to bring in substantial patient volumes, said health industry attorney Lawrence Garcia. California North State's best hope, he said, may be to serve patients whose health care is paid for by Medi-Cal, California's Medicaid program. The city is spending a great deal of money on marketing, branding, and incentives. Those are good things. But um, to encourage small business to consider Elk Grove. But there's even a special program for microbreweries. And we have a new one coming in on, I think, Laguna. 
Um, but do you think the way you're treating small businesses in the Stone Lake Landing area serves to further that goal? So I know you can't respond, but that's just, thank you. Well, everybody, I just like to, never done this before in the city council, and I'd just like to thank you and uh, for your service. And uh, I'm against the CNU hospital, emphatically. Wrong location, wrong location, wrong location. And uh, what's going to happen in like four or five years when the uh, lease at all data, the data center owned by uh, AutoZone is up for phase two of the hospital? How much is going to cost Elk Grove to, for, to give incentives to that corporation to stay in Elk Grove? Really, there's there's like 430 people working there right now. They're doing fine there. They would stay there if the hospital went, kicked them out in four or five years for phase two of their project. It's a vanity project by the owners of CNU. They could have it somewhere else. And I think for transparency's sake, whenever the city council promotes this hospital there, they should acknowledge the fact that uh, they were accepted thousands of dollars for their campaigns. You, Steve Lai, accepted probably at least 20000 for your mayoral campaign. It's Steve Lee. Thank Steve you. Steve Lai, sorry. It's Lee, Steve Mr. Lee. Lee. I apologize. Thank you. Just reading it as I see it. And uh, I'll just stand here for a minute because I can't really think of anything else to say. And, uh, yeah, be transparent about where you get your money from. And it's, and I wish back in the summer you could have gave the neighbors a chance to raise some money to contribute to you guys. Because you guys knew about this. We didn't. Thank you. All right, uh, final speaker is uh, Connie Connolly. Good evening. I wasn't going to speak, but listening to all the people from Stone Lakes and the businesses around there, all I can say is it's deja vu all over again. Take you back to 2005, and the only person that's going to know what I'm talking about is Pat Hume. Um, I want to talk about a Walmart Supercenter that was going to go in at Sheldon and Power and Roads. It was a fight that we, told, we were told we couldn't win. You two housewives, Linda Ford, Connie Conley, go home. You can't win this. You can't come up against the Walmart um, lawyers who were sitting right there in suits more that were more than a month of my salary. But we didn't give up. We fought and we fought. And... Um, we had a, a EIR scoping meeting, as you will call Pat, that was right before Christmas, thinking nobody will show up. It's Christmas time. We'll, we'll get in, we'll get out, we'll get our EIR, we'll be on our way. But little did they know that we packed these chambers and we could put on a EIR scoping um, at the meeting before the planning commission and we brought up people one after one after one, and we addressed every single one of the elements. And Pat, do you remember what you did? Do you remember that you held up the binder and you said, in all my years on the Planning Commission, this is the best presentation I've ever seen from the community. So it can be done. And two days after that EIR scoping meeting, Walmart pulled their permit, and we won. And all we said during that time is Elk Grove Coalition advocating proper planning. We need to put these um, big developments in the right place that serve the entire community. I don't have a dog in this fight, but I just want the people to know that they need to be heard and they need transparency. When I, the brewery, I heard from that, the, I have never met them until tonight. They said they haven't heard from anyone and, this, and when I saw their picture in the Citizen, when they got Rookie Business of the Year with the Chamber, with the two Steves um, surrounding the, um, the couple, smiling broadly, we need to be, we, I mean, I cannot believe that couple put all that money into our community, and we want to take their business away. I've never been there, met them tonight for the very first time, but something's not right here. And you have it within your power to make sure that this hospital, if it does come to Elk Grove, goes in the right place. And there's a, little, there's a place at Grant Line and, and 99 that um, needs, needs a little, needs a home. Um, so, you know, pro, you know, and it's got that interchange, you know, life would be great if we just moved it over there. So anyway, thank you.
Thank you, folks. Uh, let's move to the next item.